Good afternoon YouTube, Captain Darren here in Jacksonville, Florida. Let me give you an update on my uh, my HF antenna. Right now I took down the uh, Comet CHA250 Bravo. I didn't have any good reception with it. So uh, I took it down and uh, anyway it was damaged too. Um, remember the guy who was mowing the lawn, um, their mow his mower uh, grabbed one of the guy ropes and uh, knocked down the antenna so the elements were kind of bent so the new antenna I got now it's called the 05 HOA 27 foot uh, uh, vertical antenna freestanding freestanding meaning I don't need any guy wires however you do need to have great uh, radials and I've made about 37 radials on my antenna uh, let me show you what I got. I've already started preparing the uh, the base mount. Let me show you what I got. Okay, if you remember in my uh, previous video, that location right there with the pile of soil, that's where the antenna used to be. It was on the Easy Mass 33 foot antenna antenna mass with the Comet CHA 250B, and um, I've removed it. And here is the new location where I would put my 05 antenna. This is a galvanized uh, water pipe. It's a 10 foot section that I bought at the Orange Home Depot store and uh, it's pretty expensive. So I cut it in half to five foot and um, I got about three and a half foot underground with cement and about a foot and a half or just a little over a foot and a half when I measured it and uh, that's going to be the support for the uh, antenna, the 05 27 foot HOA antenna. And uh, I also removed the guy wires or the guy, uh, I'm sorry, the ground rod. There was a ground rod in here. I took my time, it took me about, about I don't know, 35 minutes to 45 minutes. I pulled it out. I used some, some pliers and I gripped it. And I twisted, kept twisting it, and slowly pulled it out until it all pulled out. So I removed the ground rod. I'm going to re put it, reposition it about a foot from the the antenna base, just a foot. All right, let me show you the antenna now. I just put it up here on this for display. This here is the 05 27 foot HOA antenna. It comes with the uh, four, four to one uh, un un matching transformer. So this side here is a positive terminal that's going to the element itself, and on the right side that's the negative ground. Okay, I'm going to be mounting it with the DX Engineering grounding plate. So far, I don't know. I don't know how many I put on there, but um, I'm going to put one ground radial per uh, lug and see how that works. And if I want to later on in time, I can put another set over uh, each lug. So each lug will have two ground radials. All right. And what I'll be using. I'll be using this uh, Jet Lube SS30. I'm going to use that to mount, actually to make a, a connection between all the elements when I put them together. I'll just put it on the inside. And I'll also put some on the uh, screws here so they won't uh, seize. I guess you can call it anti-seize. Alright, so once I get the ground rod installed, I've got this... Uh, uh, water access plate or a water access um, inspection I got it at Home Depot so say that I put the grounding rod right here about a foot from the base uh, I can put this over the top of it um, to keep uh, just make it look nice so uh, prevents trip hazard um, the person who mows the lawn will see that and mow around it hopefully and that's what I plan on doing. So step by step, what I'm gonna do now, let's install the ground plate. 
about an inch and a half above so I can as, so I can still have access to the to the bottom to the bottom bolt as I hook up the radials after that then I'll put the 05 and by the way on this 05 antenna it's it has a tilting mechanism I can loosen up remove this bolt top bolt loosen the bottom bolt and the whole mechanism will tilt downwards I'll show you that in a second once I get all the the antenna elements all put together all right uh, now when I install the the DX commander ground plate or the radial plate What I got here, this is a 13 millimeter socket. Let me just hand tighten it first. All right, so I do have access underneath if I needed to access the bottom of the bolts. Okay. This is, this socket is 15, 15 millimeters for the 05 mounting bolt. Let's see, I wonder how I should do this. I'll just raise it slightly. Make it tight for now. Okay, um, antenna base is mounted. The radio plates mounted, traced out. Now what I want to show you now is the tilting mechanism. So the top bolt needs to be removed. Okay, I'm going to remove that now. And the bottom bolt will be loosened, which is already loose. So your antenna is mounted, and then the base tilts down like this. Really simple. All right, I got the uh, all those bricks that was out here earlier that you probably saw in the video. I got rid of all that. I just moved it aside. Now I want to try to install the grounding rod. Here it is. I used it earlier. It's an eight-foot grounding rod, the typical standard eight-foot. So I want to mount it. Since the antenna, I'm going to attach it to the uh, the ground portion. There's a bolt right here in the back. I'm going to attach that to the ground. I'm going to place it about a foot away and uh, pound it down. Okay, here's the elements here I'm putting together. What I'm doing is I'm putting some of this anti-seize, this uh, Jet Lube SS30. What I do is I take my brush and put some on the inside, and then I put some on the end of the elements there, up to the, where the black line is at. My uh, zero 05 antenna is ready to be attached to the base. There's the, uh, the tippy, tippy end.
and each of the elements attached I put anises to have a, a, a very good bonding so what I'm going to do now I already removed that bolt right there I got it removed and I'm going to lower that antenna or lower the base to attach the antenna okay this is the last section a little bit of anti-seize okay I'm gonna cheat a little bit I'm gonna move this over to let that rest onto it and I'm gonna guide the antenna inside pole mast Okay, now it's time to tighten the antenna. What I did was I arranged these uh, hose clamps where the the bolt or I guess what I don't know what they call that. It's all on the same side as as I look down the antenna to keep it uniform. Good. All right, the next step now is I'm going to erect the antenna onto the base plate and uh, I'll have the, the bolt ready to go inside to secure it in the upright position. And I just walk it up. There it is. My zero five forty to ten meters multi band HOA twenty seven foot HF vertical. I have not put down the radials yet that's the next step put down 37 radials here's the axis for my ground it's right there I got the ground braid going under the base and it's coming up to to this mounting bolt here which is attached to this bolt which is the negative side here is the positive for the element, the radiating, radiating element. All right, I want to back up so you can see how big this thing is. It took me all day today. Yesterday was the prep for the cement, finding out um, where's the best place to put the antenna and uh, have radials 360 degrees all around the antenna element. I'm gonna put them up at least uh, 27 foot, 27 feet all the way around. It's gonna go past the fence line, so I'm gonna uh, run the wires under the fence and the grounding radials and to that direction. I am so tired, but press on. There's my RG213, 75 feet worth, and those are the bunches of 
37 ground radials at 27 feet and I got these plastic spikes to uh, keep those wires down to the ground here you can see where I have started the radials already and you can see the radials and we got some pins right here to keep it down and the radials go out I got these radials at 27 feet long November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. November 4, Victor Foxtrot Romeo. November 5, Okay, my call is incorrect. November number 4, 4, 4. Victor Foxtrot Romeo. Over. November 4, I can. November 4, I'm correct. Show it, Russia. Okay, QSL. 5, 8, and uh, number 1. Over. Okay, number 1, QSL, Russia. 73, good luck. CQ Contest, Romeo America 3, Oscar America Contest. Uh, really uh, messed up his life there for a while. I went over and took his towers down and what have you. He had the best collection of, uh, of the heat kit line of equipment anybody else. Oh. I'm making up uh, six years and, and getting a doctor's degree, and, and I thought there'll be a bunch of people sitting on the curb looking for a job, and I'd be darned. Well, that's the wrap. Captain Darren here. I hope you enjoyed watching me set up my 05 HF antenna, the 27 footer. If you, if you liked the video, please consider subscribe and hit the like button and also the bell so you get any kind of notifications when I upload new videos. This is N4 VFR, Captain Darren signing off. Have a great evening.